massive Soviet military forces have invaded the sovereign nation of Afghanistan. 50,000 heavily armed Soviet troops have crossed the border and are now attempting to conquer the fiercely independent people of that country. Within the next few days, President Carter will decide whether to request an American boycott of the Moscow Olympics this summer. Should we participate in the Olympics, sir? But the president declined to give any answer, and his press secretary said he will make up his mind on what to do about the Olympics within the next few days. I have notified the Olympic Committee neither the American people nor I will support sending an Olympic team to Moscow. The United States boycott of the Moscow Olympics is fact. You know that. The 22 women and 16 men who will be competing here tonight have absolutely no chance of competing in Moscow this summer. But for each and every one of them, just making an Olympic team is at least partial fulfillment of a lifelong dream that they have of necessity had to scale down because of events far beyond their control. So many Leia Sukahara. Going for the dismount. Very nice. Clean your team. Tracy is happy with that one. not going to the Olympics hasn't really deterred my training. Uh, I've made sure that uh, I think through this Olympic Games and hope to prepare for another one. Well, I'm very disappointed, but um, I feel that it's probably the only thing that our country can do as a unit. For all of the times we start, for all of the things I'm not. When it first was announced, I was kind of really disappointed because the Olympics was my last opportunity to compete in a big major meet but this last month I've got motivated quite a bit because I realized I want to go out being in the top six right there oh, oh. It's all part of it. For these young people, this is Moscow. They are Olympians, and no one will ever take that away from them.